Well hello and welcome back to a very windy garden today and quite a, a cold windy garden as well. Uh, it's getting towards the end of April and we have a um, horrendous easterly wind blowing here uh, but not to be you know unexpected this time of year. Um, but the gardening season is moving on and um, you know what? I, I thought I'd have a look at uh, setting these uh, three little tubs up today. Um, I normally wouldn't uh, grow these or even buy them, but um, this was a gift from a family member to me. Um, so one feels a bit obliged, you know, um, to grow them and grow them as best as one can, as it was a very kind gift. Um, and um, what I'm going to set in these tubs today are oriental lilies. And um, we do, I've got to be very careful here because I've, I've got some lilies in a tub over there and we do, uh, as I'm in the Midlands of the UK or, you know, more South Midlands a little bit, we do here suffer or have over the last few years suffered from the, the orange lily beetle which absolutely decimate lilies and um, so I've got to watch these and be very careful of them and, and see how they go. Um, so I'm going to put them in tubs because oriental lilies do look wonderful in the summer and um, not, all, not only that but on a lovely warm evening they have a wonderful scent when the sun's on them. They might need a little bit of um, support, some canes, you know, um, or safe um, support there to hold them because I think these are quite tall. But um, so just ordinary very cheap plastic recycled tubs as I always use. These had had um, some of my spray croissants in last year so as always I have just quickly washed the tubs inside and out with um, just some you know warmish water and washing up liquid. Uh, it's just good housekeeping you know to make sure you know you don't know there could be botrytis and all sorts of things lurking. You could have that. There was quite a few slugs and snails on the bottom of the tub, so they've been cleaned off. Um, so it's always good housekeeping just to wash quickly. You don't have to stand over it, but just wash your tubs. And then they say these have been filled with um, fresh compost, uh, just a general purpose compost. I haven't got nothing fancy here. And, um, and the lily. Let's we'll open one up and um, quite tough these bags and we'll tip them out. I'm not sure how many I'm going to put in the tub yet and um, we, can, we can probably zoom in on that a little bit. Hopefully you might see that uh, if I've got it in the right place or holding it in the camera. That is a lily ball or corm. I think they are pretty. You can see that's got rather a nice shoot on it already. Um, you have to be careful. These can be susceptible to late frosts. So that's why I'm doing this now right at the end of April. These will be buried. You know, um, you want to set these around about um, four to six inches deep. Um, as I say, um, and so I I'm think it's okay now. Hopefully, you know, we shouldn't have a frost severe enough um, to um, affect these, you know. And, and if they do come out, come up and come out, and I think they're a bit susceptible, I can always cover them over, as you can do, with some fleece, uh, which is very easy. So I'll zoom back out, and um, as I say, I think... I'm just going to put a little hole in there because I've got quite a bit of compost in already. I'm going to put these quite close together in the, these tubs, um, um, just in an, an irregular um, pattern there. And um, you always want to check that the corn or bulb or whatever you want. To call it I, 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 uh, is sound um, and not squishy obviously if it's squishy you know unfortunately it's, it's, there's not a lot of chance it's going to grow um, these feel okay a little bit of a little bit of mold on that when I'm going to take off um, and then really it's just like planting bulbs really it's just a question of putting setting them you know 
round the edge of your tub or in your pot. Um, you could put these in, in you know, it, quite nice if you've got some terracotta pots or any tubs or as so you can just set them in the garden you don't have to put them in tubs it's just that um, I thought it'd be rather nice to have these on the patio when they're in flower and hopefully they'll you know uh, get some late afternoon sun and, and smell quite nice in the evening so I'm putting these quite tight together I'm, I'm not too worried you know um, about that um, You'll see that if I tip that up and then just probably zoom in a little bit. And uh, that one's just fell off. But as I say, you can see that they're quite, they're quite close together, they are, you know. Um, and that will offer a little bit more support as well as they grow. I'm, I'm not, you know, too worried about that. And um, then basically, um, obviously, they always go, you know, with the root, the root ball, as you can see, the root ball on them. Um, they, that goes down into the compost and um, and it's as simple as that um, hopefully you know we'll cover that over in a minute with compost and um, hopefully they will give us some um, really nice flowers I will put some now see that one that one to me does look very suspect I am going to set it but it's 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 on the verge of being just a touch squishy um, I don't, I don't somehow think, you know, these firms, I suppose it's, it's such a job, you know, these are sent out, probably not checked, you know, as I say, but, um, but I will put it in and um, see how it goes, or we'll stick it in, it's nothing ventured, nothing gained there. Um, I will put some pictures up, oh, there's, there's my, I don't really see that, my Robin's just joined me there on the tub, my tame Robin. Um, he wants me to lift the lid up on the bin so he can get some spiders. And it's really just a question of say, arranging them how you want them in your container or in your garden. And um, as like I've said before, around roughly four to six inches deep. So I'm just pushing them into this compost a little bit. And then there'll be sort of another couple of few couple of inches over the top of these um, like so and hopefully that will give us a jolly good show of lilies and so I'm gonna to have to watch them um, and uh, there again we probably will follow this and I'll, I'll show you if I do spot any lily beetles about um, which have been a nightmare here uh, over the last few years last year I didn't see so many on the lilies I got in a tub um, and they did quite well again but um, you've certainly got to be on top um, if you live in an area where you have a bad uh, lily beetle, you know, um, infestation or get them, you know, quite badly. Um, they can devastate. Hello, Robin. There again, then. It's one or two little bits of... Um, again that's got a nice you know you know you're pretty safe that when you see a nice shoot like that you know the plants are going to grow and grow away hopefully well my battery um ran out just as i was going to finish that um little video there about planting the lilies so it's a few days later it is slightly warmer out and um, I just wanted to say, as always, thanks for watching. And we will watch the um, progress of these lilies as they do, see what they do, do if they do any good, if they do have some um, nice scented flowers um, in the summer. Um, I thought I'd end with a, a little clip of some, I've got some lovely tulips um, out in some tubs. Um, you know, it's now right at the end of April. So it just shows you how long the spring bulbs will go on if you, you know, um, have a succession, you know, of early bulbs and some mid-season bulbs and then some um, late flowering bulbs like um, these tulips. So as always, thanks for watching. Please do think about subscribing, like, comment, and I'll see you in a future video. And bye for now.